In this video, we're reviewing molar mass for the mole concept. We're on page 145 in the middle top. Here's the question. What is the molar mass of potassium sulfate? So the first thing we got to do is decide if it's ionic or covalent. And we have some ways to do that. So the first thing is ionic is made out of metals and non. Uh, they have the eight uh, or the eight polyatomic endings. And covalent is made out of nonmetals, and they use prefixes. So if we look at potassium sulfate, potassium is right here. It is in group one. It's an alkali metal. Therefore, we meet the metal. There's no metals in covalent, so it's got to be ionic. It's in group one, so it's K plus one. Sulfate ends in ATE. So ATE is one of your special polyatomic endings. And if we find sulfate right here, it's SO42 minus. Collecting the charges is not enough. If it's ionic, we have to crisscross. If it is ionic, we have to crisscross, which means that the digit of the charge becomes the subscript for the other ion. So this one goes for the SO4 and the two goes for the K. So there's our formula, K2SO4. Now we have to figure out the molar mass. So I'm going to list the elements and how many of each that I have. And then I go to the periodic table and I get their atomic masses. And then I multiply. So this is 78.2. This one I can do. And this one is 63.96. I'm going to add those together and I got 174.22 and that's grams per one mole. So if I have one mole of potassium sulfate, it would weigh 174.22 grams. It's equal to a mole.